Hello everyone, welcome back to Check Your Altitude Barbecue. Today, for our cook, we're gonna do one of my favorite appetizers, and that's smoked stuffed mushrooms. Whenever we go out to a restaurant, I like to get mushrooms, whether they're stuffed or whether they're sauteed. But the problem with that is, I'm the only person in my family that likes to eat them. So whenever I get a chance to do them at home, um, I jump on that. Um, because first of all, I love to eat them, and second of all, I don't have to share with anyone. So today I'm gonna walk you through uh, how I do this. I'm going to talk about how I season them. I'll talk about how I smoke them and then we'll talk about how I finish them off. Um, come along with me and I'm going to show you how I do it. All right, here we go. I'm going to first show you how I season these up. Uh, it's very simple. I've just got a tablespoon of olive oil. I've got a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of coarse ground pepper, and a half a teaspoon of kosher salt and a gallon Ziploc bag. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my mushrooms and I'm gonna put them in the bag. These mushrooms are a fairly good size. They're anywhere from inch and a half to two and a half inches wide, but um, they're about the size I like to do. I don't like to go any smaller because the stuffing process makes it a little more difficult, but they all turn out the same. So, But I like to use this size mushroom just because it's easier to work with. So then all I do is I put those mushrooms in that bag. I'm gonna take and dump in that tablespoon of olive oil. Seal the bag up. And I'm just gonna rotate those mushrooms around, mix them up really well. Um, be fairly gentle with them. You don't wanna break them up. You don't want the mushrooms to start to fall apart. You just wanna get a light coating of oil on them. Once that's done, all you do as you take your seasonings, dump it in the bag, and do the same thing. We're gonna rotate those around. Just make sure they're really nice and coated with that seasoning. And I'm going to take them out and I'm going to put them in my, my smoking basket. I'm just going to take these and lay them on here. And they are ready for the smoker. All right, we're back. Um, it did get dark on me. Uh, I apologize for that, but these will still turn out just fine. Um, I also neglected to tell you about my smoker. This is my Pit Boss Pro Series 1150. And it's running at about 180 degrees right now. It's been going for about 20 minutes, getting up to temp. So we're gonna get these on, get them in the smoke, and then we're gonna let them probably go for, oh, 45 minutes or so. And then I'll tell you what I would do with them after that. So we'll just get this opened up. Hopefully you can see that smoke rolling out of there. Just get these set right in here. get those mushrooms a nice little smoke bath. We'll be back in a few minutes. It's been about 30 or 40 minutes and I think the mushrooms have been in the smoke long enough. So what we're going to do is we are going to open this up. I have my cast iron skillet in here and while I'm dealing with the mushrooms I am going to put in about well, a couple tablespoons of butter. And I'm gonna let that melt in that cast iron skillet while I'm working with these. So I'm gonna pull out the mushrooms. I'm gonna close this back down. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the stems out of the mushrooms now. So just very simply, I'm just gonna pop the stems out work them out. I didn't do this before because if you do this beforehand and when you put them in that baggie with the seasoning, what happens is all that seasoning collects inside the mushroom and it doesn't distribute very well and it makes for a very uh, seasoned bite if you understand what I'm saying. So I'm doing it now. I just pull the mushroom stems to the side and they usually just pop right out. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add them all 
to the butter in the cast iron skillet. I'm going to put the mushrooms stem down, or where the stem was down. And I'll tell you about that in a minute. I'll put them all in here. Got that one there. They're all in my cast iron skillet. And I'm going to add the stems back in. Just kind of find the holes there that where those stems can sit in. So I've got my mushrooms in there. Now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to come over here to my controller. And I'm going to turn this up to about... 400 degrees. Set it. And then what's going to happen is that we're going to sit and wait. In a few minutes, I'm going to come out and flip these mushrooms back over again. But for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them go face down as this heats up. So we're going to saute them a little bit now. We've smoked them. Now we're going to saute them a little bit um, to get them ready for to be stuffed in a few minutes. All right? We'll be back in a few. Um, next step, the grill's at about 364. So I'm gonna take these out real quick. Uh, you might be able to tell it started to snow a little bit, but that's okay, no big deal. We're gonna get ready to finish these off. So what we're gonna do is have some jalapeno cream cheese. And I'm just gonna take some of that. And I'll put some of that in each one of these mushrooms much as you can fit in it. Get that all in there. Like I said, I'm the only one eating these, so I don't care if my fingers are in it. Top it off. I'm gonna come back with just a little bit of Colby Jack. Put it on top. Kind of press it in a little bit so it sticks. Don't be afraid to use a little bit extra. back on the smoker it's about 368 degrees we're gonna give it about five minutes ten minutes maybe till everything melts down and then we'll be good and we'll be done and here is our skillet that we brought in with our mushrooms in it um, you can still see they're kind of sizzling in that butter there we're gonna get them out of there here real quick and um, get them on a plate and, and uh, taste them and see how we did all right so here's our mushrooms all plated up here um, in case you're wondering, the stems are already gone. I already ate those, so um, we're going to cut into one here real quick and see how we did. They've been sitting for a few minutes, so they've cooled off a little bit. There you go. Smoked, stuffed mushrooms. Mmm. That's good. That's real good. I hope you give this recipe a try. Um, it's one I really enjoy. It's pretty simple. And uh, I just hope that uh, you enjoy it as much as I do. We'll we're going to take off. We're going to uh, go enjoy these. And as always, please remember, always check your altitude.